This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. Well, a pleasant good afternoon, friends, and a welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Women's Basketball here on the Bearcat Sports Network. We are live as we go here. A little bit of uh, technical difficulty getting started, but we are up and running here in Conway as this game just tipped off. First possession for the Lady Bearcats facing the Bears here today. This is a Bearcat team that's 0-2. A two-point shot here off that right wing by Faith Cook won't fall. And quickly, the Bears of UCA wanting to run from right to left and an early foul going to the line, shooting two. Uh, coming up here for the Bears. And again, just hopping onto this very quickly, want to welcome you into the broadcast this afternoon. And uh, thank you for joining us here on 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcats Sports Network. And going to the foul free throw line immediately to start this game here for the Bears of Central Arkansas, Savannah Walker, the five foot seven senior guard. So it is Walker, Lasker, and Trigg, as well as uh, it's Anaya Trigg and uh, Brianna Trigg out there. First free throw on the way, good at the bottom of the net. And it is an early 1 0 UCA lead. Well, this is part of a two game uh, double header that we'll have here today the women's game first, and then, of course, we will have. The men's game coming up after that. The men are 2-0 and in conference play in the Southland. Lady Cats here for Sam Houston trying to get into some winning rhythm here. They're trailing early, though, 2-0 here on the road in Conway. 8.58 to go first half. Lady Cats have it on the right side, trying to work inside. Williams. Williams puts up a jumper from the free throw line. Shot won't fall. Rebound goes to Central Arkansas. Moving from right to left, quickly back over to the left side. It's Tori Lasker. Lasker inside the paint, flips it up. Good off the right side of the glass. Bearcats trailing 4-0. 8.37 to go in the first half, bringing it up on the far side from left to right. Faith Cook. She'll work a right-handed dribble. High screen by Jefferson. And a whistle and a foul here. A blocking foul is going to be called on Jefferson. So Kaylee may have shipped it inside a little bit too much. And then Early offensive foul here. That's the first team foul and the first personal on Jefferson. That'll bring in Madeline Batista for Kaylee Jefferson. So Batista checking in for the first time this early afternoon. As UCA will inbound the ball just in front of us on the scores table. We're actually on the visitor side of the gymnasium here. At Ferris Gymnasium and appreciate all the hospitality here at the Ferris Center. Appreciate all the hospitality of their staff as we are set up. We have the plastic dividers up in front of us, too, for COVID safeguards. So Lady Bears back with it over the left side, leading 4-0. Shot put up here by Anaya Trigg. That shot won't fall. Rebound put back. Shot no good either. Lady Cats want to run. It's Leggett going high over to Batista, who checked in moments ago and just overthrew, and it goes out of bounds on Sam Houston. So the Lady Cats still trying to find some rhythm here early in this game. 8-12 to go, first half. Central Arkansas leading 4-0. They'll inbound the ball. And a travel called here by Tori Lasker. So Lasker picking up an early turnover. And that'll go right back to Sam Houston. So Lady Cats will inbound under their own rim on the left side. It's Faith Cook all the way up top. Goes over to Courtney Cleveland. Now over to the right corner, three. This shot good at the bottom of the net as it falls for Delisa Williams. So the Cats on the board trailing by one after the three, four to three, back the other way. A shot put up here, no good. Rebound goes right into the hands of Amber Leggett. The Lady Cats looking to continue here and try to pull ahead for the first time this afternoon. Faith Cook has it on the left wing. Working off of a high screen, rotates over to the right elbow, drops his pass off over to Leggett. Leggett just inside the three-point line, straight away, jumper off the front of the rim. Rebound goes into the hands of Batista, and the Cats will reset. Now it's Faith Cook on the right wing, and she traveled. So Faith Cook took an extra little step there, and another turnover by the Lady Cats. Again, trailing 4-3, to 7.34 to go here in this first uh, quarter of play, first period of play, rather. We'll update our scoreboard here for those of you that are watching on our broadcast booth stream. We had everything set up for men's earlier, so it showed halves. Of course, they play quarters here in the women's. Bears back the other way. Jump shot from the free throw line. Won't fall for 
Lange and back the other way. No, the Bears will hold on to it. Lange trying to work inside the paint. She turns it over, goes to Amber Leggett. Leggett, one-on-one, -on -one, loses her dribble off the right hand, slings it over to Faith Cook, and a travel now called by Amber Leggett. So Lady Cats here turning it over several times, two of them on travel calls. Just trying to settle things down here and get into the rhythm. 7.04 to go, trailing by one, four to three. If you're out there listening this afternoon, we'd love to hear from you. The Bearcat fan line is open. You can text us at 512-522-9105. This is Tori Lasker back for the Bears, and a shot here by Anaya Trigg, and a whistle and a dead ball, and not sure if there was a foul call there. She may have stepped out. So again, 6.58 to go. Four to three, your score. UCA up front by one. A little bit of moisture down there. They're going to clean that up. Inbounding the pass for the Lady Cats. It's Courtney Cleveland, the 5'11 senior forward. The Lady Cats in this game. Trailing by one. Faith Cook will put up a three from straight away. This one an air ball as it goes out of bounds. But Faith Cook had a good look. She'll talk some things over with her teammates as Courtney Cleveland came up and gave her some words of encouragement just beyond the free throw line. And checking in for the first time this afternoon, Diamond Hunter. So Hunter will come in for Faith Cook. Bears inbounding over to the left side and foul called here against Diamond Hunter who just checked in a few moments ago as she was down and accidentally upended a UCA player. I believe it was Savannah Walker got a little bit upended there. So the third team foul here. That is the first personal on Diamond Hunter. Lady Cats again trailing 4 to 3, 6.45 to go here in the first quarter. Bears inbounding on the opposite end of the quarter just in front of their scores table. The inbound pass from Lange goes in. And pass over to Anaya Trigg. Trigg inside the paint. We'll drop this one out over the right side. Finds her teammate in a charge here against Brianna Trigg. So sister going towards each other and an offensive foul goes right back to the Lady Cats. Moving from left to right. It's Diamond Hunter on the right wing. She'll take a jumper. This shot bounces around, won't fall. Rebound, she gets her own rebound. And finally corralled by the Bears. Central Arkansas moving from right to left, quickly putting this one up off the left side of the glass as Lasker can't connect, rebound goes back to the Lady Cats. Jalissa Williams on the far side moving from left to right. From that left elbow, ball gets knocked out, Hunter picks it up on the left wing. She'll find Amber Leg at top of the three, hands back off, over to Diamond Hunter, rolling on the right wing. Back over to Leggett. Leggett penetrating inside. Drops off a pass as she was looking in the direction of Batista. And this ball gets knocked out of bounds with 10 seconds on the shot clock. It's a good ball movement here by the Lady Cats. Trying to get the first lead of the night. Trailing by one, four to three. 5.57 to go here in the first. Inbounding is Diamond Hunter. The right side baseline of her own basket. It's all the way up top over to Batista. Back to Hunter. Hunter crosses over a dribble from the three-point three, from the three point line. And another travel here. My goodness, another step taken before that ball went down, and we've seen that already three times this afternoon, at least on travel calls and turnovers for the Lady Cats. Central Arkansas will inbound the basketball. A pass from Lange goes over to the free throw line. A shot put up, no good, as she found Lasker down there. The rebound goes to Diamond Hunter, the Lady Cats, and now a couple of players on the floor and a whistle and a dead ball here and a foul called against UCA. That's the first personal foul on Brianna Trigg, the second team foul. With 5.41 to go here in the first, Lady Cats inbounding, trailing 4-3. to three. Just in front of us here, where we're located as Courtney Cleveland is standing in front of us alongside Faith Cook. There, you may have just heard that on the crowd, Mike, giving each other high five as they're trying to get each other pepped up here in this ball game. It's a critical game for both of these teams as Sam Houston trying to find some rhythm here. They're 0-2 in the Southland to start this season. They lost a close contest at Nichols back on January the 2nd. That was an 89-82 loss. And then just a couple of days ago, hosting Southeastern Louisiana, another close game. That was a 71-67 loss. 
currently 4-4 four four on the season, but again, 0-2 in this early conference play. We'll step aside for 30 seconds and we've got a timeout on the court. We'll be right back in a moment. This is Lady Bearcat Basketball on the Bearcat Sports Network. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel. Language for life. Start the new year with a new language. Get up to 60% off now at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Back in action here at the Ferris Center after the timeout. Lady Cats will put up a shot from the left wing, and that shot good. It's another three, and now a two-point advantage, 6-4. to four. So leading for the first time tonight, Sam Houston finding it. And again, taking that three-point or two-point lead now, 6-4. to four. Back the other way, the Bears working a left-handed dribble to the left wing. Trying to penetrate inside of Savannah Walker. She can't find anything, now rolls over to the Right corner, the pass goes to Brianna Trigg. Trigg picks up a shot. It's an air ball over the left side of the rim. And trying to pick it up into the air there was Faith Cook, and she couldn't hold on to it. It goes out of bounds off the fingertips of Faith Cook. So 6-4 to four as we go to a media timeout. We'll step aside for a minute here. 4.57 remaining in the first quarter. We'll be right back with women's basketball on the Bearcats Sports Network. Do you need a way to conceal your firearm? Well, they have options for you at Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They've got custom-made Kydex holsters, belly bands, and ankle holsters, two fashionable gun-toting mama purses with holsters to slash-proof straps. They'll be happy to help you make your choice. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They're located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 I-45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them at the shop or call 936 439 Six seven two seven. Do you remember the glory days of the 50s? Please join the Downtown Huntsville Business Alliance for our January Sip and Shop. Rock around the block to the 50s. The party begins at 4.30 and lasts until 7.30 p.m. Shops and galleries will be open late for your shopping pleasure while you sip on refreshment that is sure to get you in the mood. Leisurely shop the Huntsville downtown while rocking to the music of the 50s. Why not dress up, step back in time, and leave 2020 behind? Let's rock around the block like it's the 50s once again. Welcome back, friends. Sam Houston, Bearcats women's basketball here at the Bearcats Sports Network. I'm Rob Hip, live from Conway, Arkansas, here at the Ferris Center. Bearcats leading the Bears 6-4 to four after two three-pointers. They trailed early in this one, but finding a little bit of life here and finally taking the advantage this early afternoon. And just a little bit earlier, it was Amber Leggett with that three-pointer. We had kind of missed that there on that far side of the right side, but it was Amber Leggett. And so Amber Leggett giving her team a little bit more separation here as we come out of the media timeout. Want to remind you once again, this is part of a doubleheader. We'll have the men's game following this game right here on 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcats Sports Network. So make sure to join us. The men's team looking to go 3-0 in South and play. And here are the women's. Trying to get their first one of the season, currently 0-2 to start things out of the gate. So out of the media timeout, the Bears will inbound just in front of our table. It's Lange to check this one in. She'll toss it all the way up over the far side to Lasker. They only had two shot, two seconds on the shot clock, and that's a shot clock violation. So they didn't give them any additional time. There was only two seconds on that shot clock and not enough time there to get that one off. Shot clock violation, turns it over, back to the Bearcats. Faith Cook over to Leggett. Back inside, trying to find Cleveland. And this ball gets knocked away. Goes off of Cleveland's right hand out of bounds. The Bears will have it right back. Trailing 6-4, to 4.48 to go here in this first quarter. Lange looking to inbound. She's on that far baseline. Now moving from right to left. The pass goes into the hands of Savannah Walker. Walker will retreat to the Bears logo at center court. Working off a high screen from Anaya Trigg. Back over into the hands of Lange. She'll put up a shot from the free throw line. Won't fall. Rebound to the hands of Courtney Cleveland. The Bearcats want to move it into the front court. Now over to Faith Cook. She'll take a dribble from the left elbow. Passes over to 
Sidney Kemp who checked in moments ago and Kemp may have accidentally stepped out. So another turnover here by the Cats. <laughs> Leading six to four, 421 to go here in the first. Lisa Williams will check back into the game and heading over to the bench for the Cats, Diamond to Hunter. Bears inbounding in front of their own bench, moving it from right to left. Working a right-handed dribble, Savannah Walker. Walker guarded by Williams at the right wing. Trying to use her left hand to create some separation. Now rotates the dribble over to her left hand. From the left wing, the pass goes over to Trigg. Trigg inside, turn around, flip from the paint. The shot no good, gets her own rebound, and the put back off the left side is good. Rena Trigg had a nice move after she pulled in her own offensive rebound. And an and one opportunity coming up here for Trigg. Rihanna Trigg at the line. Shooting one. As we are tied up at six apiece here, four minutes straight up to go here in the first. Bends her knees, right-handed free throw, good at the bottom of the net. So the Bears will regain the lead. They've led already once this afternoon. Regain the lead here, seven to six. Bearcats have only made two shots. Both of them were threes, and now a turnover by Faith Cook on the right side into the hands of Walker. Walker crossing the logo at midcourt. With the right-handed dribble, Williams guarding her. She'll put up a jumper from the free throw line, won't fall. Rebound in the hands of Amber Leggett. Leggett will work it into the front court. Quickly going over in her left hand at the top of the three. To the left wing, Faith Cook three. Yes, Faith Cook turning on the stove early. Back to a two-point advantage, Sam Houston, nine to seven. Bears inside, turnaround jumper, and a charge is taken. As Brianna Trigg a little bit too much down there inside, and the Bearcats taking the charge. The Bearcats leading nine to seven, 317 to go here in the first. Faith Cook. On the far side, moving from left to right. High screen by Cleveland, top of the three to the right wing, drops it off over to Leggett. Leggett inside the paint, flip and dip, won't roll and fall. The shot no good. And the Bears with the rebound quickly into the front court. It's Lasker, she'll kick it back out on a pass over to Hudspeth, top of the three. Now a jumper from the left wing for two. This won't fall for Trigg, rebound by the Cats. Williams on the far side from left to right now. Back over to the right hand from the left elbow. Now a jumper from the free throw line. Yes, it's good for two. And Sam Houston making four of their last five shots, leading 11 to seven, 242 to go here in the first. We'll step aside and take a break. Bearcat women's basketball coming back after this break on the Bearcat Sports Network. New years and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or the 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebates. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay, hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville, where we are home of the bottom line. Or Shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. Welcome back, friends, and a pleasant good afternoon. We are live in Conway, Arkansas. Game one, part of a doubleheader as Sam Houston women playing first, currently leading 11-7 with 2.42 to go here in the first versus the Central Arkansas Bears. The Bears have it moving from right to left. It's Hudspeth who checked in just moments ago. A pass over to Walker, standing on the edge of the Bears logo, now top of the three. The right-handed dribble trying to feed down inside to Crawford. Nice look. Crawford, though, can't finish. And the rebound to Batista. Bearcats now moving quickly. It's Faith Cook over to Leggett, left wing. Leggett going baseline. She'll pass it back out over to Cleveland. Cleveland inside the paint. Flips this one up. Shot no good. And we'll see if a charge was taken or if they call a foul, a blocking foul down there. That's a blocking foul against the Bears. So at the line for the first time this afternoon, Courtney Cleveland and the Bearcats. The foul is on Brianna Trigg. That is her second personal foul, the fourth team foul. And again at the line for the Bearcats, Courtney Cleveland. 
She'll shoot two. Five foot 11 senior forward. No score, no points yet for her. Lissa Williams has five in this game, two of three from the field. One of those was a three-pointer. Faith Cook, her only basket was a three-pointer. And then the only other points on the board were Amber Leggett. An opportunity here again for Cleveland. So Cleveland to shoot two here. On the right side is She'll bend her knees, takes a couple of dribbles, the right-handed free throw, bounces off the back and won't fall. Missed the first one, have an opportunity for another one here. Cleveland in her stance, bends the knees, right-handed free throw, this one bounces off, won't fall. Rebound though, Jalissa Williams. And the Cats will hold on to it. Jalicia Williams with a nice rebound there inside and it bounced around and eventually dropped out of bounds, but it went off of the Bears. So the Cats will have it. Faith Cook on that left wing takes the inbound pass. She'll find Williams. Williams over to Leggett. Back over to Cook for three. Left wing. This one won't fall. Williams went up for a rebound. Got knocked to the court. No call. The Bears have it. Ro Dominguez, who just checked in moments ago to the left side. She'll drop it off over to Lasker on the Bears logo at center court. Lasker working a right-handed dribble, trying to weave through Williams. Now it goes into the hands of eBay. eBay drops it in. eBay with a nice shot. She checked in moments ago earlier as well, the junior forward. 11 to nine. Bearcats leading by two. Faith Cook over to the right wing. Handoff pass to Williams. Williams from the right elbow, thought about a shot, finds Batista. Batista will take the jumper. Boy, that one rattled halfway down the cylinder and popped right out. Shot no good. The Bears back with it, crossing the logo at midcourt. Savannah Walker guarded by Faith Cook. The right-handed dribble rotates to the right wing. Handoff pass on that right wing goes to Brianna Trigg. She'll find eBay inside the paint. eBay has to pass it back out over to Walker. Walker top of the three, way out there. High screen eBay. Walker trying to look inside off that high screen. Instead has to kick out. Now a three-pointer by Lasker. This shot off the front of the rim won't fall. Rebound though on the offensive side goes to Trigg. It's Lasker again inside. She'll flip it up from the left side. Yes, she gets the roll. We are tied back up at 11 apiece here in Conway. Bearcats back to the right side. Faith Cook has it. Standing on the right side of the Bears logo. Bearcats have not scored in the last two minutes. They're one of their last four shots after leading by four moments ago. Eight seconds on the shot clock, 10 seconds on the game clock. Two-pointer here, Leggett. This one won't fall. She made one earlier. And the Bears will have a final opportunity with three on the shot clock. They turn it over. Leggett has one, and they throw it away. Not able to get the shot up, but after one, we are tied at 11 apiece. We'll step aside and take a break. Don't go anywhere. Exciting. Bearcats women's basketball continues here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel language for life. Start the new year with a new language. Get up to 60% off now at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Back here in Conway, Arkansas, at the Ferris Center on the campus of the University of Central Arkansas. After one, we are tied at 11 apiece. Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network, part of the doubleheader this Saturday afternoon. You know, we got some snow in the forecast back in Huntsville. Hard to believe. And that should be, uh, we'll see what happens. You know, as growing up, anytime they had snow in the forecast, it never happened. It always seemed to happen overnight when we least expected it. So maybe a little winter wonderland on Sunday. But the Bearcats looking for a little winter wonderland of their own here today, trying to pick up that first win in conference play. Currently 0-2 after two close losses to start this season. 
in that first quarter of shooting. Sam Houston only 4 of 14 from the field. They were 3 of 7 from downtown, missed both their free throws. They picked up four fouls. On the flip side for Central Arkansas, about the same. Four of 16 from the field. They only put up one three, missed that one, but they were perfect three for three from the charity strike. We're back in action here to start second quarter play. The Bears have it, continuing to move from right to left. Into the front court, it's eBay. eBay from the free throw line. She's trapped. Jefferson is on her. She'll hand off the pass, and it's good for Savannah Walker. So eBay credit with the assist. Walker off the left side of the glass, and the Bears retake the two-point advantage, 13 to 11. Bearcats back with it. It's Faith Cook on the right wing with a hand in her face, Lasker. Cook has it after a pass goes and right back to Cook. She'll find Leggett, Leggett, right wing, top of the three, Williams. The shot won't fall, goes off the back part, right of the cylinder. Rebound to the Bears, wanting to move quickly into the front court. It's Lasker, she'll hand it off over to Dominguez, and Ro Dominguez picks up the easy basket off the left side of the glass. And now the Bears on a roll, leading by four. 15 to 11. Bearcats back with it on the right side. Faith Cook, top of the three, over to Leggett. Now on that right corner to Williams. Jefferson inside, turnaround jumper here by Cleveland. The shot no good, no whistle. Jefferson was trying to feed her the assist. And back the other way, Lasker wanting to run quickly. Boy, she is got the Rockets in her sneakers here this afternoon. Walker, though, just there right then, turned it over on a travel. 15 to 11, 8.42 to go here in the second. Faith Cook has it for the Bearcats. Over to Leggett, Leggett takes a jumper from about seven on the left side, shot won't fall, goes off the rim and out of bounds and the Bears will have it back. It's an 8-0 run over the last four minutes for the Bears, making four of their last five shots. The Bearcats on the flip side, they have went cold one of their last seven, haven't scored in four minutes. Central Arkansas back to the left side. It's Walker, had to retreat, she tried to penetrate inside, Faith Cook was there. Walker resets, right wing, Still has her dribble, rotates over to the left hand from the jumper from the free throw line. That shot no good. Bears trying to save the rebound, they can. It goes to Faith Cook. Faith Cook on the far side from left to right. And she's running up court, side by side, parallel with Walker. The handoff pass over to Williams. Williams over her left shoulder to Kaylee Jefferson. Jefferson inside and Jefferson runs into a blocking foul. We'll see if she'll give her that one in the act of shooting. Brianna Trigg picking up her third personal foul already. That is the first team foul here in this second quarter. No, they did not say it was in the act of shooting. That's unfortunate for Jefferson. So it's just an inbound pass here by the Bearcats. Goes all the way up to Cleveland, and Cleveland traveled with it. Four travels now in this ball game, three of them in that first quarter, one here already in the second. And another turnover by Sam Houston. They turn this ball over nine times already, three of them by Faith Cook. They've got to do a better job controlling the ball, and you know that Coach Justice is telling them the same. Bears have it leading 15 to 11 with 7.54 to go here in the second, moving from right to left. Savannah Walker on the left wing, guarded by Cook. She'll pass over to Omsiu, who checked in moments ago. Back over to Walker. Alyssa, I beg your pardon, it's eBay. And now gets knocked away. Lady Cats or Bearcats have it. Williams to the right side and bouncing around, and she can't hold on to it. Alyssa Williams was trying to hold on to it, and it bounced around off of her feet and eventually off the fingertips and goes out of bounds, so a turnover. Mapusua said here to inbound. Mapusua checking in just moments ago. It's Lauren Mapusua, the junior here, and she'll have it. Junior guard quickly over to Lasker, over to the left side on her own baseline. Jumper for Hudspeth. This shot no good. Rebound, Mapusua. A shot went in, but I think it was before she put it up. The foul is on Jalicia Williams. And that is her first personal, the first team foul of this second quarter. That was not in the act of shooting by Mapusua, so they will inbound the ball, the Bears do. 
It's Dominguez on the right side of her own baseline. eBay trying to go inside. Has to pass this one out over to Lasker. Lasker, top of the three. And two players down on the court as Faith Cook was down there. And a jump ball arrow will give the ball back to Sam Houston. It's a great effort there by Faith Cook getting on the court and forcing the possession back to her team through the jump ball. 15 to 11, 7.04 to go. Bearcats looking for a score. They haven't scored in six minutes. One of their last eight now. Over to the left wing. Finding Alyssa Osborne who checked in moments ago. Now it goes to Amber Leggett. Leggett back over to Faith Cook on the right wing. Cook working. She's got eight seconds on the shot clock. Around the back dribble inside the paint. Sliding down and... Well, she may have got fouled down there. Faith Cook. Ah, they're going to turn it back. Yeah, I, I was about to say, and I don't want to mislead you for those of you listening, but Faith Cook slid down there. And many of the staff for the Bears were saying that's a travel. They did say it was a travel. So the ball quickly goes back to the Bears as Lasker put up a shot. That shot no good. And now a foul in the backcourt against the Bears. It's going to be on Carly Hudspeth. The foul is called on her. That is her first personal, the second team foul here in the second quarter. So the Bearcats will inbound under the Bears' basket, moving from left to right again, trailing 15 to 11, 634. They're looking for a score here. It's almost been seven minutes. Faith Cook has it, top of the three. Hand off over to Leggett. Leggett from the right elbow, puts it in her right hand, back over the left hand to Faith Cook, top of the three. Cook guarded by Dominguez, flips this one over. Quick pass inside to Walker. She'll take a jumper from inside the paint, no good. Leggett trying to skyrocket for the rebound. And Leggett got knocked in the front of the forehead. She's okay. And a foul called here against the Bears. It's going to be on Ro Dominguez. That is her first and the third team foul. So I believe Lasker checked out for the Sugar Bears. Leg it at the line. She'll bend her knees. Left-handed free throw won't fall. And the Cats still can't find the free throw line. They're 0 for 3. Or they can't make a shot. They're trying to earn something at that charity stripe. Not able to so far. Leggett will try again here. Bending her knees. Left-handed free throw shot. This one on the way. And it rolls out also. So the Cats now 0 of 4 here from the charity stripe. Leggett missed both of them. Kaylee Jefferson will head back over to the bench. And inbounding here is Faith Cook. The ball got knocked out of bounds, and it goes back to the Bearcats. Faith Cook will inbound. She'll find out. Actually, that is Diamond Hunter who checked back in. Diamond Hunter on the right wing. She'll rotate top of the three. Threw a pass over her head, trying to go down to Leggett, and Leggett not able to hold on to it. Actually, it was Batista. Batista not able to hold on to it. Batista was fouled. It's already the fourth team foul, and that foul will go against Terry Crawford, who checked in moments ago. 15 to 11 again the score, 6.04 to go here in the second. And the Bearcats once again to inbound. Faith Cook, 30 on the shot clock, 6.04 to go. She'll inbound over to Batista. Batista puts up the shot, good off the right side of the glass. A nice inbound pass, and that will end a scoring drought of over seven minutes as Faith Cook finds Batista down there. And the score, 15 to 13. Bears, the Sugar Bears leading by two. It's Walker over the right wing. Faith guarding her. Pounce pass over to eBay. She'll turn around inside. And a foul called here against Amber Leggett. Leggett was hoping there was a travel, and she looked at the official and said, what? <laughs> and so Faith Cook charged with a non-shooting foul. Oh. Well, Well, never mind. It was a uh, shooting foul. The shot fell in also. I didn't see the shot fall in. It's an and one opportunity. The basket went and one on the way, and this shot is good by eBay. Did not see that ball drop in. 
And it's a five-point Bear advantage. Bearcats back with it to the right side, trying to feed down low to Courtney Cleveland, the pass off the fingertips of Williams, and a whistle and a dead ball here. Foul called against the Sugar Bears. I thought there was a foul called. I can't see the official signals from over here. That's on Savannah Walker. So that foul's on Savannah Walker. And at the Bearcats here shooting is Courtney Cleveland. Cleveland's first free throw, this one won't fall. Boy, Bearcats cannot find it from the free throw line tonight. Another missed free throw, now 0 of 5. And Cleveland, another opportunity here. As the Bears, the Sugar Bears as they call them, on an 11-2 run over the last seven minutes. So Cleveland will have another opportunity here. Missed the first one. She'll take two dribbles, bends her knees, right-handed free throw shot. This one finally falls. Bearcats needed that. They got a free throw. 18 to 14. Backcourt pressure here, two in the backcourt for the Bearcats. Now double teaming, trying to get something on Walker, and Walker able to get rid of it. Bounce pass from Mapusua, and it goes out of bounds. Nice pressure there by the Bearcats. Mapusua was trying to find her teammate, eBay, and it got thrown away. So the Bearcats inbounding here, trailing by four, 18 to 14, moving from left to right. Faith Cook crossing the center logo. The right-handed dribble over to the right wing. Waiting on her teammates, dropped this one off over to Williams. Williams almost lost the handle as the pressure was there by Lasker. Now over to Amber Leggett. Leggett on the left wing. She'll rotate to the top of the three. Now a three-pointer left wing. Won't fall for Williams. A rebound Bears goes into the hands of Lasker. She wants to run quickly on this near side from right to left. Guarded by Williams. Over near the left elbow, a whistle and a dead ball here as a bumping foul called against Williams. That's our second personal. And that will take us to a timeout. 18 to 14, your score, the Sugar Bears in the lead. Sam Houston finding a little bit of rhythm here as they'll try to get back into this one with 4.48 to go in the first half. We'll step aside for a minute here on the Bearcats Sports Network. B-I-L-C-M. Finally, a reason to celebrate. The holidays and cool weather are here. Don't let Jack Frost nip at your nose. Stay cozy with Bilco Air Heating and Cooling. As a local, family-owned business, we take your comfort to heart. That's why right now we're offering furnace check specials during December and through January. Call 936-646-6691 or visit BilcoAir.com to learn more. Happy holidays, and remember, it's hard to stop a train. B-I-L-C-O and Bilco is the way you Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment, not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, and a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Welcome back, friends, and a pleasant good afternoon from Conway, Arkansas, here at the Ferris Center on the campus of the University of Central Arkansas. I'm Rob Hipp, game one of our doubleheader. It's Sam Houston women's basketball trailing the Sugar Bears 18 to 14 with 448 remaining. Well, Amber Leggett entering today's contest as uh, she led leading the South with 17.1 points a game. She finished second in the league a year ago in scoring. It's only three times in program history as a Bearcat led the Southland in scoring. Shernice Robertson did it in both 2016 and 17. Alice Johnson did it back in 2003. Also, Faith Cook. We talked about the free throw struggles tonight. Well, Faith Cook has not been at the line, but when she gets there, you can better believe that she's a sure fire. She hit all 16 of hers heading in. She shot 80.9% from that free throw line a year ago. She's 83% from her career. So back in action here from Conway as the Sugar Bears have it. Inbounding on the far side on their side of the court on the left side. Savannah Walker. As Walker calling some direction to her teammates, rotating over to the right wing. She'll pass this one down to eBay. 
eBay from inside the paint takes an awkward jumper with a hand in her face from Cleveland. The shot no good. And a foul called here against the Bears. That one, it's going to go against eBay. So a little bit too much there by eBay. And with the Sugar Bears already at five fouls, that'll send Courtney Cleveland back to the line. Courtney Cleveland splitting the pair on her last trip. She's one of four from that free throw line here this afternoon. She's got it back on the right side. Takes a couple of dribbles, bends her knees, free throw on the way. Yes, good. So after the Bearcats go cold, 0 of 4, Cleveland here making her last two. So another opportunity here, 18 to 15. The Bearcats pulling closer. Second free throw, yes, good as well. So it's a two point Sugar Bear advantage, 18 to 16, 430 to go here in the first half. Central Arkansas will inbound under the Bearcats rim. It's Walker, give and go back to Walker, quickly into the front court on the left side. Faith Cook guarding her, high screen coming from Anaya Trigg. Faith Cook able to work out of it beautifully. eBay will take a long jumper here for two, and that shot's good. From that left wing, boy, that was a long jumper, almost a three. She had one foot inside. It's a four-point Bears advantage. Bearcats back with it on the right side. Faith Cook on the right wing. Leggett setting her a high screen. It's actually Batista. Batista will put up a shot. This one good for Batista. Madeline Batista, it almost looks slow motion as I don't know if she thought about taking it and she finally made the decision. Yes, she'll take it. And she made that basket. Good shot. Sugar Bears back. It's a three-pointer here by Dominguez. And that shot an air ball. Goes out of bounds. And she said, my bad, y'all, to her teammates. 20 to 18, the score here in the second. 3.39 to go in this first half. The Bearcats back with it. As they'll try to tie this one with a field goal, or they could even take a lead with a three. Inbounding is Cleveland to Faith Cook. Faith Cook bringing it across center court, right-handed dribble. She'll find a glancing Williams at the top of the three, handoff over to Leggett. Leggett inside the paint, yes! Amber Leggett coming alive here in the second. And we're tied back at 20 apiece in Conway. Nice footwork, Leggett darting her way inside. A foul called here though by the Bearcats on Faith Cook. Coach Justice talking to the official about it. That is Faith Cook's second personal, the fourth team foul by the Bearcats. So Diamond Hunter will check back into the game for Faith Cook. Faith Cook, good effort here so far this ball game. She's got three points in 16 minutes. Not able to find much from the field, but definitely brings a spark to this team. Inbound by the Bears on their side of the court here on the left side. It's Walker, top of the three. Good defense by Hunter. Walker, though, able to work around it. Bounce pass goes off of the foot of her teammate, Anaya Trigg, and that's out of bounds. So as we are tied at 20 apiece, an opportunity here for the Bearcats to take a lead with 3.05 remaining in the first half. Diamond Hunter will bring it into the front court on the right side. Back over to Williams, top of the three to Leggett on the left wing. Leggett trying to work inside. And a whistle and a foul or a dead ball here and a foul goes against Anaya. Well, I didn't see who that was on. It's definitely on a bear. That one may have been against Rodominguez. I'll double check that. In any case, at the line, it's Amber Leggett. That was on Dominguez. That is her second personal. And again, Amber Leggett at the line here for the Bearcats, trying to break that 20-point tie. She'll spin the ball in her right hand. Left-handed free throw shot. Good for Leggett. And the Bearcats regain the lead, 21-20. Sam Houston on a 5-0 run now after they went cold for almost seven minutes earlier. Second free throw, yes, good. So Amber Leggett making two free throws to give the Cats a two-point advantage. Bears back with it. Lasker bringing it into the front court. I talk about her speed. She is so fast getting into the front court. She'll find Anaya Trigg. Trigg inside the paint off the left side, sweeps it up, shot no good, bouncing around, and a foul's gonna go against the Bears here. 
And that one may have went on. Uh, goes on number two. They could have either picked eBay or Trigg, and they go with uh, Anaya Trigg. So that is her second personal foul. And back at the line is Madeline Batista. So Batista at the line for the first time this afternoon. Bearcats now 5 of 10 from the free throw line after going 0 of 4 to start this game. Currently leading 22 to 20, 242 remaining here in the second. So Batista takes her time, the shot. This one bounces off the left side of the iron and falls off. So the first free throw, no good. She'll have another opportunity here. Try to extend it to a three-point advantage. Batista taking her time, right-handed free throw. This one good. Three-point Bearcat advantage, 23 to 20, 242 to go here in the first half. Lasker bringing it into the front court again, quickly with the left-handed dribble, but running parallel to her is Diamond Hunter, crossing back over to her right hand to the right wing. Finding eBay, eBay from the right elbow, and Dominguez, the pass goes, and another foul against the Bears. That foul was on the offensive side, and so no free throws here for the Bearcats as they will just inbound it, bringing it from left to right, two-point advantage, or three-point advantage, 23 to 20. Over to Leggett from the left elbow, inside the paint, Leggett. Too soft there as she was trying to dart her way inside the paint. She laid it up off the right side of the glass, but it fell flat off the right side of the rim and dropped down. And Leggett was hoping she would get a call there, and she didn't get it. She was talking to the official. So the ball turned over. We'll go back to the Sugar Bears, trailing 23 to 20. 2.14 to go here in the second. Inbound pass from Leggy. Over to Lasker, and Lasker good and one. Well, Lasker found it. She got the pass there and the assist from Leggy and able to put that one in off the left side of the glass and drew the foul, so she'll have an opportunity to tie this one back at 23. Ball game has been tied four times. This will be the fifth time here if Lasker can hit the free throw. She does not. But the rebound goes right back into the hands of Leggy. And the Bears continue to have it here on the left side. Back over to Lasker. Top of the three, guarded by Hunter. She'll retreat near the logo. Takes her re-step, left-handed dribble. Trying to find a lane inside to the left. Drop off over to Leggy. She'll put up a jumper. Good. And Leggy gives the Bears a one-point advantage. 24-23. Bearcats trailing with 1.43 to go here in the first half. Leggett has it on the left wing as Dominguez guarding her. Leggett goes inside, and she's hit hard. And she's holding look to be her right elbow, and she'll hop up, thankfully. She's okay. And they did not call that a foul. Boy. <laughs> Amber Leggett can't believe it. She was wanting a foul and didn't get that call either, and so... The Bears will inbound the basketball. Diamond Hunter heading over to the bench uh, alongside Sidney Kemp. And back in is Faith Cook and Jalisa Williams. So the Bears inbounding with the lead, 24-23, 1.37 to go here in this first half at the Ferris Center. Walker bringing it into the front court. Left-handed dribble crossing over. Jalisa Williams guarding her, rotating over to the right wing. Pass dropped off over to Leggy, top of the three. Trying to find a lane inside the paint. She'll pick up her dribble, and it's a offensive foul against the Bears. Oh, Leggy having a chat here with the officials. <laughs> so Leggy couldn't believe it. Ball goes back to the Bearcats. An opportunity here to regain the lead. Trailing by one, 112 to go. Never Leggett traveled. It was either Leggett traveled or Delicia Williams. In any case, another turnover. So back and forth we go as it'll go right back to the Sugar Bears. They'll say it was Amber Leggett. That's her third turnover. On the near side is Lasker. Center court, Lasker guarded by Faith Cook at the top of the three. She has an option on a double screen here. The pass over to Dominguez on the left wing. Leggett guarding her, Dominguez, double team. She drops it off over to eBay. eBay, a floater from the right side, no good. Shot way up in the air, Cleveland with a high rebound. Cleveland wanting to run quickly, it's Faith Cook. Cook will take a jumper from 
That right wing, I believe it was a two, her foot was on the line. One point advantage, 24-25 with 37 seconds to go. Sugar Bears have it back. A jumper here by Walker, back, or Lasker, beg your pardon, and it's back-to-back -back shots. 26-25, Sugar Bears with the lead. Bearcats will have the last shot here. Faith Cook has it, calling for Williams to rotate around. Williams, top of the three, over to Leggett, left wing, seven seconds on the clock. Inside Leggett, she will find Cleveland. Cleveland to Faith Cook for three. Yes, Faith Cook! As time expires, Faith Cook nails the three. And the Bearcats take a two-point advantage in the halftime, 28 to 26. Boy, big shot there by Cook as she turned the stove on. As time expired, her team is fired up as well as Coach Justice. And we will step aside for halftime. We'll come back and talk things over in that first half in a few minutes. Stay with us. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. Do you remember the glory days of the 50s? Please join the Downtown Huntsville Business Alliance for our January Sip and Shop. Rock around the block to the 50s. The party begins at 4.30 and lasts until 7.30 p.m. Shops and galleries will be open late for your shopping pleasure while you sip on refreshment that is sure to get you in the mood. Leisurely shop the Huntsville downtown while rocking to the music of the 50s. Why not dress up, step back in time, and leave 2020 behind? Let's rock around the block like it's the 50s once again. New Year's and New Deals. Hi folks, Clemack here with Wiesner in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a Buick Encore GX and get 4,250 purchase allowance. Or a GMC Acadia and get 4,750 purchase allowance. If you need a heavy duty truck, we've got them coming in daily. Don't delay, hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner in Huntsville where we are home of the bottom line. Or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. GMC is professional grade. Our biggest storage event just got stronger. The Store More Save More event going on now at the Home Depot. Get exclusive HDX black and yellow tough totes starting at just $4.98. They're heavy duty, durable, and come in a range of sizes from 7 to 70 gallons. So whether you need to store a little or store a lot, you're going to save loads. Make room for big savings at the Store More Save More event going on now at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Limited time only. Event and dates vary by store. See store for details. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, the signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Do you remember the glory days of the 50s? Please join the Downtown Huntsville Business Alliance for our January Sip and Shop. Rock around the block to the 50s. The party begins at 4.30 and lasts until 7.30 p.m. Shops and galleries will be open late for your shopping pleasure while you sip on refreshment that is sure to get you in the mood. Leisurely shop the Huntsville downtown while rocking to the music of the 50s. Why not dress up, step back in time, and leave 2020 behind? Let's rock around the block like it's the 50s once again. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network welcome you to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Now let's go back courtside with Rob Hip. All right, friends, welcome back. A pleasant good afternoon. We are live here at the University of Central Arkansas at the Ferris Center. It's women's basketball here, part of a doubleheader. We'll have the men's game next. But in this one right now, Sam Houston leading 28 to 26. It's been a back and forth game. This game has been tied four times. The shooting, as far as both of these teams, things uh, pretty low in that first half of play and it really going into the first quarter as well. We'll go over those stats here in a little bit, but really giving this advantage here to the Bearcats over the Sugar Bears, a last shot by Faith Cook as she drilled a three-pointer from the right wing off of a Courtney Cleveland assist, her third assist of the afternoon, and that gave the Bearcats this two-point advantage that we currently sit. We talk about Sam Houston in that first half. They only shot, or in that first quarter especially, they only shot four of 14. 
They picked things up from the field, though, in the second quarter, shooting 5 of 11. Overall in this ballgame, 9 of 25. That'll put them at 36% for the Sugar Bears. They were 4 of 16. They also improved, though, in the second quarter, shooting 7 of 15 from the field. They're 11 of 31 overall from the field and put up two three-pointers but did not make any of those. Four of five from the charity stripe are the Sugar Bears for your Bearcats, six of 12, as they struggled early from the foul line going 0 of four, but finally found some rhythm and picked up some things. Uh, a lot of pressure here brought by Sam Houston, only picking up nine personal fouls. A lot of pressure back the other way, if you want to talk about that, by uh, the Bears, uh, Sugar Bears, as they picked up 13 fouls in that first half. So the Bearcats got to continue to take care of business from the free throw line. Again, I talked about just a few seconds ago, struggling early, but then finding uh, some rhythm coming into this one. A little bit of notes here from Central Arkansas talking about them as this is only their second Southland game. The game versus New Orleans on January the 6th, just a few days ago, was postponed. They lost the opener at McNeese in Southland play, 59 to 45. If you go back over the last five seasons, the Sugar Bears are 16 and 15 after losing a conference game. And as a team, UCA, they're tied 55th in the NCAA with 126 made of free throws. That's six in the conference. So we'll see if they can continue what they're doing. eBay uh, is a player to keep an eye on. She's averaging 9.3 points a game. And before we came on earlier, didn't get to talk about this a lot, though. They're, uh, as we had some difficulties when we came out of the gate, so we weren't able to get much of a pregame in there. but. Uh, their shooter, Delissa Outlaw, she's out for the season. She tore her ACL in the last minute in the previous game. She's the leading scorer on the team, and that is a very tough loss for the Sugar Bears. Delia Cody is out on concussion protocol, So, and then uh, Anita Payne is a redshirt freshman, so we won't see her. Uh, but, yeah, you talk about Outlaw, that's tough for the Sugar Bears, and just our prayers with her that she heals quickly and and I know that they said she's out for the season, but you never know. Sometimes things can heal up a little quicker than expected and uh, hope to see her back out on the court for Central Arkansas. You know, friends, we broadcast for Sam Houston, but I always want to highlight our opposing teams as well. Uh, but, of course, we want to make sure that we're taking care of this one here. 28-26, your score. Bearcats leading by two. Nine minutes to go at halftime. We'll step aside for a few minutes. When we come back, we'll look at more stats and have more for you. Stay with us on the Bearcats Sports Network. Hi folks, this is Mattress Jack at Adams Furniture. Listen, you've been looking for sofas and love seat. Furniture in the stores today are hard to find. We're waiting on furniture, but listen, we've got trucks in and the stuff on my floor, it's in stock, ready for immediate delivery. You come in, you see it, you buy it, you get it to your house, it's that simple. We're getting inventory in the store. We've gotten several trucks in, so there's no more waiting on your sofas, your tables, your mattresses, your bedroom suits. Come in and see us, folks. It's right now going on. Hey, don't forget about our beds in there. We have great economy beds, great beds, queens for $199. How about a twin for $99? Come in and see us, folks. We have a huge bedding department. Remember, the furniture is in stock, ready for immediate delivery. That's an Adams Furniture. You won't be disappointed all kinds of financing going on remember that adams furniture at 75 north and 10th street or shop online at shop at adams.com do you need a way to conceal your firearm well they have options for you at bullets blades and concealment they've got custom-made kydex holsters belly bands and ankle holsters two fashionable gun toting mama purses with holsters to slash proof straps They'll be happy to help you make your choice. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They're located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 I-45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them at the shop or call 936-439-6727. Do you remember the glory days of the 50s? Please join the Downtown Huntsville Business Alliance for our January Sip and Shop. Rock around the block to the 50s. The party begins at 4.30 and lasts until 7.30 p.m. Shops and galleries will be open late for your shopping pleasure while you sip on refreshment that is sure to get you in the mood. Leisurely shop the Huntsville Downtown while rocking to the music of the 50s. Why not dress up, step back in time, and leave 2020 behind? Let's rock around the block like it's the 50s once again. 
New Year's and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or a 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebates. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville, where we are home of the bottom line. Or Shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. Welcome back, friends, here in Conway, Arkansas. 28-26, Sam Houston women's basketball on the Bearcats Sports Network. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for spending your afternoon with us. This is game one of our doubleheader. We'll have the men's team coming up next. Uh, talking a little bit more in this ball game here as the Bearcats with a three, a big three, to end that second quarter by Faith Cook to take that two-point advantage again 28 to 26 you know we didn't uh, as I said earlier we didn't have a chance to go through much of our pregame kind of looking back as Sam Houston women right now 0-2 in the conference uh, they have had a couple of tough losses a close ones as I mentioned earlier at Nichols and then to open things at Johnson on the six at South hosting Southeastern Louisiana 71 to 67 loss Going back to that game, the Sam Houston Bearcat women's team making a late run in that one, but they came up short to southeastern Louisiana. The Lions escaped with a 71-67 win just on Wednesday night. Now the Cats 4-4 four four overall, 0-2 in the south, and they had a narrow 41-39 lead at the break, but the Lions took control. They had an 11-1 run to close out that third quarter, held on in the game's final minutes as well. Southeastern led 69-60, just over three minutes to play for the Cats reeled off seven straight points. It just was as close as it would get in that ball game, though. Uh, Delicia Williams and Amber Leggett, they had the, led the way with the game-high 17 points. Faith Cook had 13 in that one, shooting 10 of 10 from the foul. And we talked about how good Faith Cook has been from that free throw line as she on the season, I believe, 16 of 16 now. So we will see here, second half coming up in just a few minutes as uh, we'll stay here for just a moment. I want to go over some of those first half stats briefly with you. Leading all scores in the first half for Sam Houston, it's Faith Cook. She shot three of seven from the field, two of five from downtown. Again, the big one though was right as time neared expiration in the second quarter to give that two point advantage. Faith Cook again with eight points in 17 minutes. She turned it over four times, hauled in one rebound and two assists. She also had a steal. Amber Leggett, the second leading scorer for the Bearcats, seven points. She's two of seven from the field, one of two from downtown, playing in 20 minutes. On the flip side for the Sugar Bears, as Lasker, and I talk about Tori Lasker, boy, she is a fast player out here. Just seeing her in person, you know, I'm trying to describe it so you can visualize it. This young lady can run quick, and when she gets the ball and moves across court, you got to look up. you got to pay attention because she will be right in your face in a matter of seconds, and then right after that, she'll be right past you and down in the lane. She's got eight points, shooting four of eight from the field, 0 of 1 from the three-point line. She went to the free throw line once as well, but did not make that shot. Three turnovers in 19 minutes. Sam Houston hauling down 19 rebounds. The Sugar Bears 20 rebounds in that first half. Sam Houston turning it over 14 times. Central Arkansas turning it over 15 times. And down in the paint, that is where the Sugar Bears have excelled. 16 points down in the paint, only six for the Bearcats. We've got three minutes to go before we get things started in the third quarter here in Conway. Stay with us, friends. Exciting second half coming up on the Bearcats Sports Network. This is a call I make two times a year without fail. I'm talking about all temp heating and air conditioning. We're heading into that time of year where you don't want to have your heating unit quitting on you. So call all temp heating and air conditioning for a service checkup. For fast professional services that won't bust your budget, it's got to be all temp heating and air conditioning. They've been serving Huntsville and Walker County for decades. When you call, they'll send one of their technicians to get your system up and running again. That's all temp heating and air conditioning. This is Nolan Ryan. So what's it going to be? Hot dog or a hamburger? Hill country or the Gulf Coast? 
Making less and making choices, that's life. Choose wisely. Choose American Standard Air, dependable home comfort today and for years to come. You have more important things to worry about than home comfort. Making life simple, that's American Standard Air. Comfort the way you like it. AmericanStandardAir.com That's all temp heating and air conditioning. Call them at 936-291-7836. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment, not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required. Paid training. A signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Do you remember the glory days of the 50s? Please join the Downtown Huntsville Business Alliance for our January Sip and Shop. Rock around the block to the 50s. The party begins at 4.30 and lasts until 7.30 p.m. Shops and galleries will be open late for your shopping pleasure while you sip on refreshment that is sure to get you in the mood. Leisurely shop the Huntsville downtown while rocking to the music of the 50s. Why not dress up, step back in time, and leave 2020 behind? Let's rock around the block like it's the 50s once again. All right, friends, a pleasant good afternoon. Welcome back as we are moments away from the third quarter here in Conway, Arkansas. Boy, I had a, had a seven-hour drive in here from just outside of Huntsville. My beautiful fiance, Bridget, came uh, with me, and we also brought the dog. So we're going to stay the night here. We're not driving back, uh, but it's uh, tonight for sure. Um, but, again, just wanted to welcome you in. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us. 28-26, your score as Sam Houston leading Central Arkansas as we get things started in the third quarter coming up. Hey, Ken Holland joining us tonight. Saying great way to close out the half. Eat them up, Cats. Appreciate you, Ken, and all your support and all that you do back in Huntsville, Texas. A lot of great folks, and we're excited too. You know, we'll talk about this a little bit more in the men's game, uh, but we have the all-new Jason Hooten radio show, and that happens every Monday, 6.30 p.m., at True Texas Barbecue. So come out, get some barbecue, and join us as we talk Sam Houston men's basketball. That again happening every Monday at 6.30 p.m. By the way, we still have numerous sponsor opportunities for basketball. We're doing something totally new this year with our broadcast booth camera, and believe it or not, the social media presence is getting a lot of views as well. Uh, not just what we do, of course, on the radio, which is very valuable, but the social media presence as well, drawing in more eyes and ears, trying to help promote the university and what we're doing uh, in the Huntsville community. Back in action here, whistle blown, and we are in action as the Bears, the Sugar Bears have it. They're wearing their white jerseys, white shorts, numbers in purple, with the names written across the back. Jump shot to start things here for Walker. And just like that, it's an early advantage. Or actually, just like that, we're tied back up at 28 apiece. Here in the third quarter, just underway, Sam Houston moving now from right to left in their orange jerseys, orange shorts, Bearcats written in white across the back, the numbers in white outlined in black, and they've got that new Sam Houston logo on the back. Jump shot here, Cook. She nails it from the right corner. That's a two-pointer for Faith Cook. Bearcats regain the lead, 30-28. to 28. Sugar Bears have it back on the right side. It's Lasker working a left-handed dribble guarded by Williams. Delicia Williams on her. Handoff pass goes over to eBay, and eBay finds a floater from inside. And for the sixth time this afternoon, we are tied 30 apiece. Bearcats back to the left side. It's Amber Leggett thought about taking a jumper. She'll go inside, uses the glass. Yes, off the left side of the glass. Amber Leggett fundamental basketball. Two-point advantage, Sam Houston, as the Bearcats bringing the pressure in the backcourt. They'll retreat. Actually, they leave two back there. It's Leggett and, and Williams. And trying to force a turnover here. Now a bumping foul going to be called on Madeline Batista. She was a little too aggressive there on Brianna Trigg. So the third personal foul, first team foul here in this third quarter. 
And Batista will talk to Coach Justice on the sideline. She'll actually head back over. So checking back into the ball game is Kaylee Jefferson. Leggy inbounding. She'll find Lasker from the top of the three for the Bears. The Sugar Bears on the right side. Lasker retreats, trying to penetrate inside from the left elbow, and a bumping foul called here on Jalicia Williams. So Jalicia Williams picking up the foul. That is already, I believe that's her third personal, second team foul. Sugar Bears to the right side. Ebay trying to toss it up against Jefferson. Jefferson denied her. Shot no good. Rebound, Jaleesa Williams. Williams takes a jumper from the free throw line off the front of the iron. Cleveland trying to haul in the rebound. Can't hold on to it. And now down on the court is Jaleesa Williams. And Leggy was down there. She got hit in the eye. And while she was complaining about not getting a foul called, she almost lost the ball back to the Bearcats. She'll inbound. Just to the left of our table here on this visitor side, we're behind the plexiglass with COVID protocol, of course, in place. 32-30, Sugar Bears trailing 7.38 to go here in the third. Walker on the right side finds a lane in front of Faith Cook and easily lays it up to tie it again. We are tied at 32. Bearcats back to the left side. Felicia Williams over to Leggett. Leggett from just beyond the free throw line, takes a jumper. She knew it wasn't going to fall. She immediately ran in for the rebound and couldn't hold on to it. The ball goes out of bounds. Jay LeVay checking in for the first time tonight, I believe. Jay LeVay, the 5'8 junior guard. Now in the game as Felicia Williams checked out. Jumper here back the other way by the Sugar Bears, Lasker. And Lasker nails the jumper for two. So back to a two-point advantage. Bearcats trail 34-32, seven minutes to go here in the third. Leggett has it from the top of the three over to Cleveland right wing. Trying to work the baseline. Now Faith Cook from the right side. Faith swings it around and she's fouled. Good aggressive move by Faith Cook. I believe the foul gonna be on eBay. So eBay picking up her second personal, and that is the first team foul here in the third quarter by the Sugar Bears. So the Bearcats will inbound on their, on their, under their own rim on the baseline on the right wing, or on the right side of the rim. Beg your pardon. Faith Cook has it on the baseline. She's pushed down, and another foul here on eBay. So two quick fouls by eBay. I'd be surprised here if Coach doesn't call her back to the bench. She does it. Well, eBay quickly, no, it, yep, looks like there's going to be a substitution here. I was about to say, eBay with two quick fouls. So Ayana Trigg will check in as eBay heads over to the bench. Bearcats inbounding, knocked out of bounds as Faith Cook was trying to go inside. Trigg knocked it out, so it will remain with one second off the shot clock, 19 on the shot clock here. Faith Cook for the Bearcats to inbound again. Trying to find a teammate up close. Finds Cleveland. Back over. Cleveland on the right corner, working the right baseline. Good defense here. Over to Leggett. Gets it knocked away. Faith Cook back to Leggett. Leggett rotating near the free throw line. She'll find LeVay. LeVay for a jumper from the free throw line. Yes, it's good for Jay LeVay. And we are tied again. 34-34 to with 621 remaining here in the third. So kind of back and forth and tie we are in this ball game as we have hit an area here where teams just cannot pull away. Now a jumper here will break the ties. And a leggy, 36-34, Sugar Bears. Bearcats back with it to the left wing. It is Amber Leggett. Jefferson calling for a screen. Leggett gets it poked away, and it's a strip and a steal here by Lasker. Lasker working one-on-one. -on -one. Bounce pass over the left to Walker. Walker splits two defenders, puts up the jumper, rolls in. Yes, it's good. Boy, somehow Walker found that shot between Jefferson and Jay LeVay. Not sure how she did, but she dropped it in. It's a four-point advantage. Bearcats trailing three. Faith Cook and one. Oh, mama, what a shot by Faith Cook. 
from downtown and the rare four point opportunity coming up for Faith Cook. Boy, you'll take them when you get them. You don't get them that often in Faith Cook. If you're gonna put someone at the line, she's the one to do. Uh, looking to remain. Perfect from the free throw line, Faith Cook. So an and one opportunity here, trying to make it four for Faith Cook. Faith Cook at the line, she hit the three moments ago. She'll bend her knees, right-handed free throw shot, money for Faith Cook. Boy, Faith Cook has not missed from a free throw line. She actually came into this ball game 26 of 26. I had it wrong, I was looking at the stats before Southeastern Louisiana. She still has not missed. Tied up, 38. Back the other way, Lange able to knock one in. 40-38, Sugar Bears, Bearcats back with it on the left side. It's Hunter. Back over to Faith Cook on the left wing, trying to find Batista down in the post. Instead, a chest pass back to Hunter. Hunter rotating around two defenders from the left side. Hunter, this shot won't fall. Nice footwork inside, jump ball here. And the possession arrow will stay with Sam Houston. So the Bearcats will have the ball in the inbound when we come back. 40 to 38, trailing by two, 4.52 remaining here in the third. We'll be back in one minute on the Bearcats Sports Network. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Start the new year with a new language. Get up to 60% off now at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Do you need a way to conceal your firearm? Well, they have options for you at Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They've got custom-made Kydex holsters, belly bands, and ankle holsters, two fashionable gun-toting mama purses with holsters, the slash-proof straps. They'll be happy to help you make your choice. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They're located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 I-45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them at the shop or call 936 439 Six seven two seven. Welcome back, friends. We are live from the Ferris Center on the campus of the University of Central Arkansas. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for spending your afternoon with us. As the Bears leading forty to thirty eight over the Bearcats, four fifty two remaining. The Sugar Bears making five of their last six shots. Lasker has made four of her last five. Walker three of her last four. And Lange, the three of her last four. On the flip side for the Bearcats, Faith Cook has found some rhythm here as she has shot five of her last six shots and three of four from downtown. Faith Cook will inbound coming out of the media timeout. Got to get it up quickly. She finds Jay LaVey. Oh, back over to Faith Cook on the right wing. Faith Cook trying to work around the high screen from Cleveland. Instead, she'll go back to the right. Now finds Cleveland on the give and go. Cleveland inside the paint. Turn around, jumper from the left. Won't fall. Rebound into the hands of eBay. Now... The Sugar Bears want to run. Walker has it on the near side, moving from left to right over to Lasker. Lasker guarded by Faith Cook. Lasker way out there on the three, now jumps in. Two-point shot from the left wing, good. Oh, 42-38, Bearcats trailing, 418 remaining. And a bumping tic-tac foul called. I call those the breath, the breath mint fouls as Tori Lasker reached in on Faith Cook. So Lasker picking up her second personal. It's the fourth team foul here in this third quarter, so one more in the Bearcats will shoot. Leggett has it for the Bearcats. Over to Cleveland, Cleveland to Faith Cook on the right wing. She's been hot from downtown, surprised she didn't take that one. She'll find Leggett, left wing three. This one rolls off the right side, won't fall. Rebound to Lange. And Lange fouled here. She went up for the rebound. And the foul is on Madeline Batista. 
That is her fourth personal and a fourth team foul as well for the Bearcats. Sugar Bears inbounding, moving from left to right on the far side. Into eBay, and eBay takes a jumper, and it's good. Well, I'll talk about these Sugar Bears. They made seven of their last eight now, and they're pulling away, leading now 44 to 38. Bearcats got a score here as they're scoreless in the last minute 40. It's LeVay trying to find her teammate, and she does. Batista off the right side of the glass. The assist from LeVay, and that'll stop the scoring drought. Back over to the right side. Sugar Bears have it. It's Lasker inside to Lange. She'll put up a shot. Somehow that one falls in as Batista was on her. Batista backpedaled away and fell down, and the shot still fell for Lange. Six-point advantage for the Sugar Bears, 46 to 40. Bearcats back with it on the left side. Three minutes to go here in the third. Leggett loses it but finds Cleveland. Cleveland there, right side, shot no good, but Cleveland's fouled and she'll go to the line shooting two. Courtney Cleveland at the line, shooting two. She is three of six from the charity stripe so far this afternoon. Lucy Ebay will head over to the sideline and Madeline Batista for the Bearcats will head over. Lou Jefferson back in the game for her. Rihanna Trigg will also check out, and checking back in is Rodominguez. Courtney Cleveland at the line, shooting two. Bearcats trailing 46 to 40, 301 to go. First right handed free throw won't fall, rolls in and out. Got to hit those free throws, seven of 13 this afternoon for the Bearcats. Cleveland have another opportunity here. She'll bend her knees, the second one on its way. This one won't fall either, but the rebound, Leggett put back left side. Yes, for Amber Leggett. Well, you miss the two free throws, but Leggett's there to clean it up. It's a four point Sugar Bear advantage. Walker back to the right side for Central Arkansas. Lange will take a long two, the shot no good. She's been on fire lately. As before that, she made four of the last five and now a whistle and a dead ball and a foul here. And with five team fouls, the Bearcats back to the line. Lange missing the jumper moments ago. And Faith Cook at the line for the Bearcats. Faith Cook takes a couple of dribbles. That foul, by the way, on Walker. First free throw, good for Faith Cook. Boy, she is remaining perfect on the season. I talked about coming into this ball game, 26 of 26. And so far tonight from the free throw line, she put up another one, that one good as well. Faith Cook cannot be denied as she is now 29 of 29 on the season from downtown. So we are 46-44, two point bear advantage. They've got the ball, Sugar Bears moving from left to right. Walker in the backcourt. Back into the front court now. Jay LeVay guarding her. Walker wants to go all the way, but it's blocked by Cleveland. Cleveland rips it down with the still. She's working quickly. Finds Leggett back over, trying to dart this one back into the hands of either Cleveland or Jefferson. It's a turnover. And Lasker will find her teammate Walker, and that shot good off the right side of the glass. Tough break there for the Bearcats as they were trying to move the ball quickly on a fast break and just could not convert. Faith Cook to the right wing, high screen Jefferson on that right wing. She'll hand it off over to Amber Leggett. Leggett working around the world, drops the pass over to LeVay. Leggett inside, floater left side, glass, yes. We've seen it time and time again. We've seen it twice here tonight. And Amber Leggett with beautiful fundamental basketball, laying it in off the left side of the glass. And it's a two point Bears advantage. 48-46, 155 to go. We'll step aside for a minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. 
New Year's and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or a 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebate. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville, where we are home of the bottom line. Or Shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel language for life. Start the new year with a new language. Get up to 60% off now at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Back in action here, 155 to go in this third quarter. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston Women's Basketball on the Bearcat Sports Network. It's our second broadcast this season. We will broadcast 10 total women's games. As I stated earlier, numerous sponsor opportunities available here to help support our broadcast. And to make them possible, you can reach out to me, Rob, at ksam1017.com. Again, it's Rob at ksam1017.com. I'd love to get your name out there in the Huntsville community. Back in action here from Conway. The Sugar Bears leading 48-46 to as they inbound the ball and right out of the gate, it's knocked away by the Bearcats. It goes out of bounds, so Sugar Bears will re-inbound. Just to let you know here in this third quarter, 78% from the field as the Sugar Bears cannot miss. They're 11 of 14 from the field. An unbelievable shooting third quarter here. Inbounding the ball as Dominguez with the pesky defense from Leggett trying to steal it. Leggett on the court. Dominguez still has it. Back to the right side. They've only got three on the shot clock. They've got to put up a shot. Dominguez doesn't see it, and that's a shot clock violation. Oh, the defense by Amber Leggett and the Bearcats here in the third coming up and making the big play to force the shot clock violation. Now that's one way you're gonna put an end to this blistering shooting from the field for this Sugar Bear team. 48-46, Bearcats with an opportunity to tie it back up. It's Amber Leggett on the left wing. Leggett will find LeVay over to Cleveland, top of the three. Cleveland to the right side, flips it up. The shot no good, but Cleveland will go to the line shooting two. The foul goes against Lucy Ive. That is her fourth personal. And at the line, shooting two for the Bearcats, it's Courtney Cleveland. Now Cleveland, only three of eight from the free throw line. She's got to convert here. At the line Opportunity to tie it. Her team trailing 48-46. Bends her knees, right-handed free throw. Yes, this one good. A clutch free throw here for Courtney Cleveland. She'll have one more. A second free throw, this one won't fall. A rebound, Leggett was fighting for it and it goes off of the Bears. As Leggett knocked it off of Savannah Walker and the Bearcats with another opportunity here on this possession. Trailing by one now, 48-47, one twelve remaining in the third. Faith Cook will inbound to the baseline under her own rim on the right side, all the way up top over to Amber Leggett. Leggett. Trying to look for a teammate. She'll find LeVay. LeVay on the left wing. High screen Jefferson. LeVay tried the give and go. Instead takes a jumper too short off the right. Jefferson down there in the post. Has the rebound. Turn around. Not there as it's stripped out. But she's fouled. And Jefferson will go to the line shooting two. Sam Houston showing some aggression here late in this third. Fighting their way back in. They trailed by as many as six earlier in this third. And... Now an opportunity to tie it or take the lead with two free throws. Jefferson's first free throw won't fall. Now Kaylee Jefferson this season entering this ball game 13 of 17. She's a good free throw shooter. She'll bend her knees here, right-handed shot. This one is good, and we are tied. 48 apiece in Conway. 57 seconds to go here in the third. As Lasker for the Sugar Bears brings it quickly over the left side. Oh, man, she was running. The shot missed, and Cleveland has the rebound. 
Bearcats wanting to run quickly. Faith Cook tried to look for Leggett. Instead goes to LeVay. Back over to Faith Cook. Top of the three. From the right elbow. Bounce pass to Cleveland. From the free throw line. The shot no good. But Cleveland's fouled. And she'll go back to the line. Shooting two. Boy, a lot of intensity here for the Bearcats in this third quarter. Especially as of late. And Courtney Cleveland with an opportunity to take the lead on free throws. We're currently tied 48, 38 seconds to go here in the third. Cleveland will take her time. Right-handed free throw, well short. A tough break from the Lions. An area they got to work on here, these Bearcats. They are only 11 of 22 from the free throw line this afternoon. Second free throw to break the tie. Yes, 49-48. Cleveland makes one of two. She'll split the pair. Backcourt pressure. Oh, this one's stripped by Cleveland. It goes to LeVay. And the ball going back the other way, and Kaylee Jefferson not able to save it. I still like the aggression. And the Bearcats wanting that ball to go their way. Leggett trying to contest it with the official, and the officials decide no. And I don't know if Coach Justice is too happy about that one. Wangie will inbound in front of the scores table over to Lasker. Two-second differential from the game clock and the shot clock. So Lasker's going to sit here and hold it with 19 and ticking down on that shot clock. Guarded up top by Faith Cook. Faith Cook hits the deck on the left elbow. And thought about a three-point shot here. The Bears, and they travel it with nine seconds remaining. So Sam Houston will have an opportunity for the last shot. Mapusua had a three and she didn't take it. Heard a fan behind me saying, why didn't you take that shot? You were wide open. Seven on the clock. Bearcats have it. Leading 49 to 48. It is Faith Cook on the right wing. Faith Cook slipping through defenders. Jefferson will put up a shot at the buzzer. It's well short off the backboard. But what an effort there by Sam Houston in the third quarter. Shooting seven of 15, just under 50%. It was a blistering third quarter for the Sugar Bears shooting 11 of 15. But after three, it's Sam Houston by one, 49 to 48. We'll step aside for a minute. Don't go anywhere. Exciting fourth quarter finish coming up here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Finally, a reason to celebrate. The holidays and cool weather are here. Don't let Jack Frost nip at your nose. Stay cozy with Bilco Air Heating and Cooling. As a local, family-owned business, we take your comfort to heart. That's why right now we're offering furnace check specials during December and through January. Call 936-646-6691 or visit BilcoAir.com to learn more. Happy holidays, and remember, it's hard to stop a train. B-I-L-C-O and Bilco is the way you do you remember the glory days of the 50s? Please join the Downtown Huntsville Business Alliance for our January Sip and Shop. Rock around the block to the 50s. The party begins at 4.30 and lasts until 7.30 p.m. Shops and galleries will be open late for your shopping pleasure while you sip on refreshment that is sure to get you in the mood. Leisurely shop the Huntsville downtown while rocking to the music of the 50s. Why not dress up, step back in time, and leave 2020 behind? Let's rock around the block like it's the 50s once again. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Ferris Center. Central Arkansas Bears trailing Sam Houston Bearcats here in women's basketball, 49 to 48. We've got the men coming up next, so make sure to stay with us. 10 minutes on the clock, fourth quarter about to get underway here in Arkansas. Again, if you're joining us, we'd love to hear from you this afternoon. You can text us at 512-522-9105. Send us those text messages. Let us know where you're listening from. Let us know who you're cheering on. Again, that number, 512-522-9105. We'd love to hear from you this afternoon as we are back in action here. And Central Arkansas will inbound the basketball just in front of our table as we are on the visitor side behind the plexiglass. Bears trailing, Sugar Bears trailing, 49-48. Walker has it. From inside the paint, almost loses her handle. She'll retreat, looking for Lange. Lange on the right wing, spinning around on Cleveland. She loses on the right elbow, wants to give a pass. She does. This shot put up by eBay is no good. And a, oh man, a little bit of test moments out there on the court as it's a jump ball, and it will go to Sam Houston. As Mapasua and 
Jefferson were down there fighting for it. And the jump ball again will go to the Bearcats. Leading by one, 49-48. We're underway here in the fourth quarter. I'll get that scoreboard updated for those of you watching the booth shot on social media. Bearcats have it. Faith Cook on the right wing. Jefferson sets the high screen. Cook around it. Inside the paint loses the handle. She's fouled, and Cook will go to the line shooting two. She'll get a high five from her teammates. And a nice huddle there as these ladies are talking things over with each other. It's a very well-disciplined, well-organized team under head coach Raven Justice. She has turned this program around in her tenure here and looking to get this season on the right track. Currently 0-2 after two tough losses, but an opportunity here to stop that. First free throw continues now 30 of 30 on the season. Faith Cook, she cannot miss from the free throw line. She'll have another opportunity here. Faith Cook, second free throw, yes. And that was the first free throw that had any indication that it wasn't extremely perfect as that one got caught up in the net. Every other free throw has barely touched the net when it went through. Now a foul back the other way by the Cats on Courtney Cleveland on the inbound. Olangi set to inbound this one. Under the Bearcats rim on the left side. Mapasua will check out of the game. Checking back in for her is Dominguez. Lange trying to find a teammate. She'll find Walker. Walker on the near side from left to right. Right-handed dribble guarded by LeVay. She's double teamed with Cleveland out there on her. Oh, and she traveled the ball as Cleveland and LeVay brought the pressure. Walker traveled. Oh, Mama, what a play on the defense. The double team is working here and bringing the pressure tonight for the Bearcats. 51-48, three-point advantage, nine minutes to go here in the fourth. Cleveland has it on the right wing. Picks up her dribble, handoff over to Faith Cook for three. This one won't fall. Rebound, Cleveland, right side. She's fouled. She'll go back to the line, shooting two. Courtney Cleveland, aggressive inside on the right side. And that foul against... The Sugar Bears, it's their second team foul of this fourth quarter. Terry Crawford picking up her second personal. So Courtney Cleveland at the line, shooting two here for the Bearcats. She's only five of 12 from the charity stripe here this afternoon. Rodominguez heading back over to the bench for the Sugar Bears, checking in Carly Hudspeth. So Cleveland, two free throws coming up. She'll bend her knees, right-handed free throw shot. This one rolls in and out, won't fall. That's an area that Cleveland's going to have to work on this season. She's got five points in this ball game, all of them coming at the free throw line. She'll take the second one. This one won't fall either. Rebound, though, in the position by Leggett. Left side, yes! Oh, Mama Amber Leggett had nice position down low, and now it's the Bearcats again. Faith Cook with the steal. She's on the right baseline. Bounce pass over to Cleveland. Leggett back over to LeVay. LeVay on the right wing from the free throw line. Back to Leggett inside the paint. Jumper no good, and it's a charge. Well, Faith Leggett with the charge, but I still like her play out there. I'm not sure if Coach Justice does. She looked at her and said, hey, slow it up a minute. We'll get the scoreboard updated for you watching. 53-48 is your score. Leggett there with their seventh turnover of the afternoon. 8.32 remaining here in Conway for Sam Houston. Women's basketball leading by five. That is their largest lead of the night, by the way. The Sugar Bears, it's Hudspeth. She turns it over. Faith Cook has it in the backcourt. Cook now into the front court, slinging it way up high over to Batista. She'll turn around, wave it off. It's a travel. Batista travels for the second time this afternoon. 53-48, 8-12 remaining here in the fourth. It's Coach Raven Justice talking things over with the officials. The officials <laughs> tell them they take... They're just chatting about a few things. I'm not sure what's going on as... <laughs> a little bit of chatter out there as Raven Justice was uh, talking to Amber Leggett also, and the officials <laughs> brought them together, and, and uh, Amber Leggett gives 
Coach Justice a high five. I wonder if the official said, y'all good? Give each other a high five. <laughs> Not sure what that was about, but hey, it's good to see that. Turnover here as Batista has it. Jay LeVay one on two. She flips it up. She's fouled, and LeVay will go to the line shooting two. Boy, the Bearcats here continuing where they left off in the third as they are continuing to run the court end to end. The aggressive defense turning into offense. And now an opportunity here for Jay LeVay at the line shooting two. Their largest lead is where it stands for the Bearcats, 53 to 48. An opportunity here to extend it with 801 remaining in the fourth. So again, Jay LeVay at the line. First free throw won't fall. Ah, oh my goodness. Free throws have not been the friend of these Bearcat women tonight. LeVay, second one is good. Entered tonight's contest, 9-12 from that free throw line. 54-48, Bearcat still showing pressure. And a reach in here on Jay LeVay. So Jay LeVay and Faith Cook double teaming in the backcourt, Tori Lasker, and LeVay called with the foul here. Savannah Walker inbounding just in front of our table. But that will have to wait as we will go to a media timeout, 54-48. Bearcat women's basketball continues in a moment from Conway, Arkansas. We'll be right back. New Year's and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a Buick Encore GX and get 4,250 purchase allowance. Or a GMC Acadia and get 4,750 purchase allowance. If you need a heavy duty truck, we've got them coming in daily. Don't delay, hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner in Huntsville where we are home of the bottom line. Or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. GMC is professional grade. Our biggest storage event just got stronger. The Store More, Save More event going on now at the Home Depot. Get exclusive HDX black and yellow tough totes starting at just $4.98. They're heavy duty, durable, and come in a range of sizes from 7 to 70 gallons. So whether you need to store a little or store a lot, you're going to save loads. Make room for big savings at the Store More, Save More event going on now at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Limited time only. Event and dates vary by store. See store for details. Welcome back, friends. 7.58 remaining here in Conway, Arkansas, as Sam Houston women's basketball leading the Sugar Bears 54-48. to One thing standing out on the stat sheet for me right now is the Sugar Bears have turned it over 24 times, and the Bearcats have been able to score 16 points off of those 24 turnovers. That's the difference in this ballgame, as the Bearcats from the free throw line have not been getting it done. They are only 15 of 29 as a team. Cleveland has been there a lot. She's 5 of 14. Definitely an area for that young lady to pick up on, not harping on her. She'll continue to improve as this season goes on. And the senior out there with her leadership, you know that things are going to be. But she has been out there all 32 minutes here in this one. Love seeing her aggression as well. Just because you see things on that free throw line not connecting, she has done a lot on the defensive side. Back in action here as the Sugar Bears have it, trailing 54-48, 7.49 to go. Rihanna Trigg checking back in moments ago. Now the pass over to Lasker. Jumper from the right wing, no good. Ball bouncing around, trying to save it. No, it goes to Faith Cook. Bearcats have it, far side, right to left. Faith Cook changing her direction. Bodies hitting the floor. It's Amber Leggett, corner three. This one won't fall, gets her own rebound. Spinning inside, blocking foul called against the Sugar Bears. And we'll see if that was not in the act of shooting or if it was. It was not in the act of shooting. I think Leggett was hoping that it was, and it's not. And so Faith Cook will inbound this ball. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 7.27 to go. The foul was on Brianna Trigg. That is her fifth, and I'll do it here for Trigg. Thank you. 
So again, 7.27 to go. Checking in is Terry Crawford, the sophomore for the Sugar Bears. Faith Cook inbounding here. Bearcats leading 54-48. She'll find Ever Leggett on the left wing. Hand off back over to Faith, Faith Cook. Rotating near the elbow on that left side. Back up top, Amber Leggett. Leggett telling Faith Cook, run around. Top to LeVay. LeVay right side. She wants to go inside. Picks up her dribble. She may have traveled. Carry is what the call is. So a carry by Jay LeVay. Coach Justice not happy with LeVay on that one. Just telling her, hey, you know, don't carry the ball. We don't need any turnovers here. 54-48, Sugar Bears trailing. Quickly into that front court. Talked about her all night. The speed of Lasker. She'll drop it off over to eBay. eBay finds her teammate Crawford inside. And a jump here and a foul called. Uh, we'll see if who this one's on. It's against the Bearcats. It's on Jay LeVay. So Jay LeVay will pick up her second. That is the fourth team foul. That one was in the act of shooting. And at the line shooting, too, is Terry Crawford. So Terry Crawford at the line, shooting two. She'll take four or five dribbles, bends her knees, right-handed free throw shot, no good. <laughs> Terry Crawford entering tonight's game, a 55% free throw shooter. She was 11 of 20, averages just under seven a game. Crawford, second free throw, yes, connects on one of two. 54-49, Bearcats still leading. As Central Arkansas had not scored in almost six minutes. Faith Cook over to LeVay for three from the corner. This shot won't fall. A rebound goes to Lasker. You better believe she's going to turn the guns on again here, but Leggett called for a foul. So Amber Leggett with her second personal foul. Coach Justice not happy with the foul because that will send... The Sugar Bears to the line. Now five team fouls for Sam Houston. Tori Lasker at the line, shooting. So Lasker 0 for 1 so far this afternoon from the free throw line. First one is good. She entered tonight only 4 of 5. It's a hometown Tori Lasker just right down the road. Went to Mayflower High School in Little Rock. She'll put up the second one. This one won't fall. Rebound. Cleveland fighting for it. Jump ball. And possession goes to the Bears. Wow. Tough break there for the Bearcats. They have got to be careful here because they've got to close this ball game out. And some costly turnovers and miscues are giving an opportunity here for the Sugar Bears to claw back into this one. Ebay, turnaround jumper, no good. Crawford with the rebound, put back, no good. But she's fouled, and she'll go to the line, shooting two. So an opportunity here for Central Arkansas to pull this one within two. 54 to 50, the score with 6.37 remaining here in the fourth. As Kaylee Jefferson will check back into the ball game. Madeline Batista getting talked to by Coach Raven Justice. As Coach Justice was telling her, and Batista just kind of stared at her said, yep, yeah, I, I hear you, Coach. Crawford misses the first free throw. Critical miss there for Terry Crawford. She'll have a second opportunity. Takes three dribbles, bends her knees, right-handed free throw. No good. Rebound Jefferson. Nice box out by Kaylee Jefferson. She almost loses it and able to hold on to it and finally dumps it off over to Jaleesa Williams. Back up over to... Faith Cook, around we go to Leggett on the left wing. Leggett to Cleveland. Cleveland right-handed, two dribbles, picks it up on right elbow. Leggett back to the left wing. Leggett inside, left side. Yes, she does it again from the left side of the glass. Amber Leggett loves that left side, and she connects again. And the Bearcats leading again by six, tying their largest lead, 56 to 50. Turnover back the other way. Faith Cook throws it up. Leggett has it. Bounce pass. Cleveland rolls in. Yes, off the right side. Cleveland. Oh, mama, what the footwork out there and the opportunities for the Bearcats to pull away, and they take advantage. 58 to 50 with 5:55 remaining here in the ball game. We'll step aside and take a break. The Bearcats on a 12-2 run. We'll be back in a moment on the Bearcats Sports Network. 
Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, and a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Do you remember the glory days of the 50s? Please join the Downtown Huntsville Business Alliance for our January Sip and Shop. Rock around the block to the 50s. The party begins at 4.30 and lasts until 7.30 p.m. Shops and galleries will be open late for your shopping pleasure while you sip on refreshment that is sure to get you in the mood. Leisurely shop the Huntsville downtown while rocking to the music of the 50s. Why not dress up, step back in time, and leave 2020 behind? Let's rock around the block like it's the 50s once again. Welcome back, friends. 5.55 remaining here in Conway, Arkansas. It's the second conference game in the Southland for the Bears. They are currently trailing 58-50. to The Bearcats, women in control as they have found some life here. They are now on an 18-4 to run over the last seven and a half minutes. Amber Leggett leading the charge, four of five for that young lady. She had 17 points, and really Faith Cook also helping to co-lead the charge, if you will. She has 18 points, so two players for the Bearcats in double digits. Amber Leggett playing in 34 minutes, 7 of 15 from the field, 1 of 4 from downtown. Faith Cook, 18 points. She's 5 of 10 from downtown, and another perfect night tonight from the free throw line for her. As a team, the Bearcats shooting 19 of 45, 42%. The Sugar Bears, though, you, look, they're shooting well, 22 of 50, 44%. The problem is their turnover, they turn it over 26 times. And the Bearcats have been able to take advantage of that, scoring 18. And here the ball gets deflected out of bounds by the Bearcats. So another opportunity to bring it in is Lange. She'll inbound this pass from the Bearcats side of the court on the left side. There to the right side of the rim on the baseline. Lange looking again, telling her teammate to run up front. She'll throw this one up front, almost knocked away. Walker has it, and now a foul called here against the Bearcats. It's on Faith Cook for the Bearcats. That is her third personal, and that will put the Sugar Bears back at the line here. Only a couple of seconds off the clock, two seconds, in fact. And Savannah Walker at the line shooting two. Savannah Walker, a perfect two of two from that charity stripe here this afternoon. Bends her knees, right-handed free throw, shot good. That'll stop some of that bleeding. 58-51 Bearcats. Sugar Bears, another shot. This one good as well. She'll remain perfect, four for four. Sam Houston got to hold on here. Leading by only six, 58-52. Their largest lead was eight just before those free throws. Leg it on the left wing. Back up top to Cleveland. Cleveland penetrating right side, flips it up. This shot won't fall. Jefferson and Leggett fighting for the rebound. Leggett has it. Back over to Faith Cook. Faith Cook inside to Cleveland, and the ball gets knocked out of bounds out of Cleveland's hands. It'll go off of the Sugar Bears. Lange the one knocking it away. 16 seconds on the shot clock, 5.33 in the game. Bearcats leading by six. Faith Cook on the baseline. Quick chest pass over the right wing into the hands of Jaleesa Williams. Top of the three. She's waiting, hands it back off over to Cook. Cook working the high screen around. She'll take a three. This shot, good. Oh, light the stove again. Faith Cook continues the domination from downtown. 61-52. That's a big three. And then Amber Leggett stealing it in the backcourt the other way. The Bearcats again with the possession. Their largest lead now at nine with 5.04 to go here in the fourth. Faith Cook has it, wisely taking some time here. 14 seconds on the shot clock. She tells Cleveland to set up the high screen on the right wing. It's Cook again, penetrating. She'll flip it back over, leg it. Up top to Jefferson for three, straight away. The shot won't fall. Leg it with the rebound, that'll reset the clock. Leg it over to Faith Cook, left wing. High screen, Jefferson. Over to the right elbow, Faith Cook with a right-handed dribble. Now she'll backpedal. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Faith Cook takes another screen, Jefferson. This shot drops off over to Jefferson. It's Leggett with four seconds on the baseline. Left side won't fall. Leggett tries to get the rebound. It goes to Lange of the Sugar Bears. 
Well, good sequence of events there for the Bearcats as they run a lot of clock. In fact, almost 45 seconds off of it on that possession alone. Over the right side, it is Walker for the Sugar Bears, trailing 61-52 here in the fourth, 4.05 remaining. Walker trying to feed down low, and a reach-in foul going to be called here against Courtney Cleveland as Walker was looking for Terry Crawford. So two free throws coming up here for Terry Crawford. Now the foul is on Courtney Cleveland, her third personal. Checking back into the game is Lauren. Let me check and make sure it was. Yeah, checking back into the game here for the Sugar Bears is Lauren Mapasua. So Mapasua back into the ball game. And Terry Crawford at the line shooting two. As the Sugar Bears scoreless in almost two minutes, Sam goes on a 17-4 run over the last 8-21. They only made one of their last five shots, though, so they're getting the free throw line. They're getting the foul line, and things looking good here in the fourth quarter. Only shooting four of 11, though, but overall 20 of 50 tonight. They've been a injured player down there for the Sugar Bears as Terry Crawford injured her hand. So Terry Crawford not going to be able to shoot those free throws as her right wrist is injured. And Carly Hudspeth checking in. So Carly Hudspeth will shoot the free throws here. Hudspeth. A junior guard. She'll take the first right-handed free throw, and this one bounces in. So on the season, she was only one of four from the free throw line, so that was only her fifth attempt. She averages a point and a half a game. Hudspeth, second free throw. Yes, that's good. Good free throws there by Hudspeth, 61-54. Lady Cats by seven. The Bearcats by seven, rather. Williams over to Leggett, left wing. Leggett trying to penetrate inside the paint, loses her handle, and she traveled. She did travel on that one. She took an extra step. Got to hold on to the ball here and be careful. You don't want to turn it over when you're only trailing by seven with 349 remaining. We know that these Bears can score. The issue has been the turnovers for the Sugar Bears. Lange inbounds. Finds Lasker on the near side, moving from left to right. Back over to Langley, guarded by Amber Leggett. Up top to Lasker. Lasker's been quiet. Boy, she has played really well through this game, but over the last five or so minutes in this fourth, haven't heard her name much. Lasker drops it off. Hudspeth, three. That shot no good. Nice block out by Cleveland. Jefferson will go to the court, and it's a jump ball. Possession arrow goes to the Cats. That was a great block out out there by, or box out by Cleveland, and Jefferson able to hold on. And the jump ball goes to the Bearcats on the far side from right to left. It's Faith Cook, quick chest pass. Over to Williams, Jaleesha checking back in moments ago. Left corner, she thought about a three. <laughs> she decided to slow down. They'll run some clock here. Inside leg, oh, leg is slammed to the ground hard. Oh, my goodness. As Lange, I don't even think she realized how hard that Leggett went down. She wrapped up Leggett, and Leggett went down hard. Langley instead was contemplating why she was called for the foul. I don't think she realized how hard she threw down Leggett. My goodness. Leggett at the line here will shoot two. Good thing she hopped up right away because that was a hard fall. She'll bend her knees, left-handed free throw on its way, and good for Leggett. That's how you answer it. 62-54, Bearcats. Leggett, second free throw off the left hand. This one off the front of the rim. Lange with the rebound. Three minutes to go. Sugar Bears trailing 62-54. They've got the ball quickly. Oh, it's turned over, knocked away by Williams. Williams one on two, coast to coast. She loses it. Langley down there, she'll be called for the foul. Man, Williams. Knocked it away, stole it, and she tried to go coast to coast. I don't know if uh, I'm trying to read Coach over there. I'm not sure if she's happy with that or wanted her to retreat to run some clock. Maybe a question we'll ask her on the next game during our pregame interviews. So Alicia Williams at the line, shooting two. She'll bend her knees, right-handed free throw. Good at the bottom of the net. 63-54. Cats tying their largest lead of the night with 2.58 to go here in this one. 
Williams, she'll take her second free throw. No, bounces out. Langley with the rebound. She'll drop it off over to Walker in the backcourt. 2.50 to go, Sugar Bears trapped, trying to get rid of it. It's almost turned over, Hutchbeth able to hold on to it on that left wing now on her own side. Darts this pass over to the corner, baseline jumper up, shot no good, but a foul on Conway. Charlie, Charlie uh, Chonway, Charlie Chonway, Conway, beg your pardon, checked in moments ago and the foul's gonna go against Jefferson. So Kaylee Jefferson, Picking up her second personal, two free throws here for Conway. Charlay will take her first one on the way. This one good for Charlay Conway. 63-55, Bearcats up front, looking for their first win in the Southland Conference, currently 0-2, trying to go 1-2. Don't want to go down 0-3. Second free throw, Charlay. This one good as well. Seven-point Bearcat advantage, 63-56. 2.35 to go here in the fourth. Williams over to Leggett on the left wing. Leggett's been hot, 18 points tonight. Over to Cleveland, Faith Cook loses the handle. Well, who else has been hot in this one? Faith Cook has 21 points, 6-12. It's her fourth turnover there by her tonight, though, and that's a, a big one because you don't want to turn it over on those kind of plays, and she does. Langley to inbound for the Sugar Bears. Quickly over Walker. Puts up a shot here. That shot good off the left side of the glass. Well, Bearcats got to be careful here. It's only a five-point advantage now. As the Sugar Bears find a little bit of a run here. 63-58, two minutes to go. Faith Cook has it. Cleveland standing at the top of the three, showing a high screen. Cook will rotate around that screen. Hand off over to Leggett. Leggett with five on the clock finds Cleveland. She's got to take a shot. Four on the clock. They've got to shoot. Jefferson will take a shot. This shot no good off the right side. A rebound goes into the hands of the Sugar Bears. It is Mapusua who is back in there. Mapasua with the rebound. Sugar Bears have it. Over on the left wing, Langley. Hudspeth takes a three. The shot no good. Trying to get the position on the rebound is Williams. And the ball goes out of bounds. And possession will remain with the Sugar Bears. 122 to go. 58-63. They're trailing by five. And the Bearcats have went cold over the, the last 136 after going on a run. They led by as many as nine at the 63-54 mark at 2.42 to go. And that will take us to a timeout. The Sugar Bears have the ball when we come back, trailing 63-58. to We'll be back in a minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. New Year's and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or a 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebates. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay, hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville, where we are home of the bottom line. Or Shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel language for life. Start the new year with a new language. Get up to 60% off now at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. 63-58. Bearcats women's basketball continues here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Thanks for joining us, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Ferris Center on the campus of Central Arkansas in Conway, Arkansas. Part of our doubleheader this afternoon. Men's coming up next. We still got 122 to go in this one, though, and the Sugar Bears have the ball trailing 63-58. Quick turnaround jumper, Hutz, but that shot no good. Rebound by the Sugar Bears. This one blocked by Leggett. Oh, man, what a block in the rebound. The ball goes over to Williams. Leggett with the block. Williams able to haul it in. That's a huge block there by Amber Leggett. Faith Cook has it. 
Near half court, high screen, Cleveland. One minute to go here in Conway. Bearcats trying to hold on. Faith Cook has it near center court. Pass over to Williams. Now to Leggett on the left corner. Left wing, rather. Back over to Williams. Williams, top of the three. Three on the clock. They've got to shoot. Cook throws one up, and that's a shot clock violation. Now, I'll tell you what. If UCA scores one here, it's going to get interesting with 43 seconds to go. They're trailing 63 to 58. And a timeout called here by the Sugar Bears. They don't have any timeouts left. Sam Houston has three of theirs. No timeouts left here by the Sugar Bears. We'll take 30 seconds with them. Sugar Bears have the ball trailing when we come back 63-58 to on the Bearcat Sports Network. B-I-L-C-L. Finally, a reason to celebrate. The holidays and cool weather are here. Don't let Jack Frost nip at your nose. Stay cozy with Bilco Air Heating and Cooling. As a local, family-owned business, we take your comfort to heart. That's why right now we're offering furnace check specials during December and through January. Call 936-646-6691 or visit BilcoAir.com to learn more. Happy holidays, and remember, it's hard to stop a train. B-I-L-C-O and Bilco is the way you 63-58 as we come back. 43 seconds remaining in this one. It's Bearcats women's basketball holding on to that five-point advantage, trying to pick up their first win in their third game of Southland Conference play. Text message coming in a little bit earlier from Kara McKinney and family listening from Amarillo. Go Cats! Thanks for that text message. If you're out there listening, we'd love to hear from you. You can text us at 512-522-9105. Again, that number's 512 512- 522-9105. Let us know where you're listening from, who you are, and if you're on social media, send us a comment. And we'll flash those up on the broadcast booth screen that we have going here. All new this year from KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network. We like to show you the action. Of course, we don't do the video broadcast. The TV crews, they do a wonderful job. Uh, but a little bit new with the radio broadcast this year. So here we are back in action. Sugar Bears to inbound. Trailing by five, 63-58. Langley to inbound in front of her own bench. She'll throw it to Walker on the right side. Walker bounce pass over Hudspeth. Back over to Langley. Langley inside. Jumper. Oh, the charge. The charge by Langley. She knew it. Amber Leggett took the charge, and that's a costly turnover and a heads-up play by Amber Leggett. And the whistles are blowing here. The official's going to talk a few things over. As Sam Houston will take a timeout. Said earlier they had three. They got two remaining. So coach will take a timeout here for the Bearcats, I believe. They've got two remaining. 36 seconds to go. We'll keep things right here for that 30-second timeout. Again, 63-58, to 58, your score. Men's basketball coming up next on the Bearcat Sports Network. There will more than likely be a little bit of a a music break, if you will, back at KSAM. And then we will come on with pregame and more, so make sure to stay with us this Saturday afternoon. It's our commitment to Bearcat Athletics. We're bringing you 26 games this season. And it's so great to be back in action for these student athletes. Through 2020, so much uncertainty, so much happening in 2020. And a bit of normalcy with college athletics back on the court. By the way, the NCAA has done a fantastic job working hard to protect students and athletes and their facilities and their recommendations here uh, today. We appreciate uh, we appreciate Central Arkansas. Bearcats will inbound. Quick foul as Cleveland inbounding over to Faith Cook. Well, if you want to throw one over for a foul, <laughs> you want to get Faith Cook to the line as she remains perfect this year from the free throw line. She's perfect here tonight, 5 of 5. She'll bend her knees, right-handed free throw shot. Didn't phase her. Another make for Faith Cook. She remains perfect on the season. Second free throw, good as well. So Hudsmith will check back into the ball game for eBay. For the Sugar Bears, inbounding is Tori Lasker. Trailing 65 to 58. Lady Cats. Bearcats, rather, just got to hold on here. 31 seconds in the game. Lasker quickly over to the right wing. She's taking a lot of dribbles here. She'll find Walker. Walker takes a straightaway three. The shot won't fall. Rebound to Leggett. And if they don't, they only choose to foul here with 20 seconds to go. Leggett will go to the line shooting two. Foul. So 
a foul here by the Sugar Bears will send Amber Leggett to the line, shooting two. With 20.9 remaining, Bearcats leading 65 to 58. That foul, by the way, on Ruth Balagun. First free throw, Leggett, good. And 65 58. Actually, make it 66 58 now. Missed one earlier. Second free throw by Leggett. This one on the way, good as well. Sugar Bears into the front court. It's Walker on the right wing with 16 seconds. Taking a lot of dribbles here. Looking to penetrate inside instead. Finds her teammate Balagan. She'll take the shot. That jumper good for two. 67-60. Cook has it and she'll run the clock down. Bearcats are going to get their first victory in the South in this season. Clock down. That'll do it. Lady... Women's basketball, Bearcats taking care of business here in this ball game tonight with the 67 to 60 victory in Conway. We'll step aside, we'll take a few minutes. When we come back, we'll break this one down and we'll get ready for the men's game as part of our doubleheader. Stay with us. This is the Bearcats Sports Network. Hi folks, this is Mattress Jack at Adams Furniture. Listen, you've been looking for sofas and love seats. Furniture in the stores today are hard to find. We're waiting on furniture, but listen, we've got trucks in and the stuff on my floor, it's in stock, ready for immediate delivery. You come in, you see it, you buy it, you get it to your house, it's that simple. We're getting inventory in the store. We've gotten several trucks in, so there's no more waiting on your sofas, your tables, your mattresses, your bedroom suits. Come in and see us, folks. It's right now going on. Hey, don't forget about our beds in there. We have great economy beds, great beds. Queens for $199. How about a twin for $99? Come in and see us, folks. We have a huge bedding department. Remember, the furniture is in stock, ready for immediate delivery. That's an Adams Furniture. You won't be disappointed all kinds of financing going on remember that adams furniture at 75 north and 10th street or shop online at shop at adams.com do you need a way to conceal your firearm well they have options for you at bullets blades and concealment they've got custom-made kydex holsters belly bands and ankle holsters two fashionable gun toting mama purses with holsters to slash proof straps They'll be happy to help you make your choice. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. They're located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 I-45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them at the shop or call 936-439-6727. Do you remember the glory days of the 50s? Please join the Downtown Huntsville Business Alliance for our January Sip and Shop. Rock around the block to the 50s. The party begins at 4.30 and lasts until 7.30 p.m. Shops and galleries will be open late for your shopping pleasure while you sip on refreshment that is sure to get you in the mood. Leisurely shop the Huntsville downtown while rocking to the music of the 50s. Why not dress up, step back in time, and leave 2020 behind? Let's rock around the block like it's the 50s once again. New years and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or a 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebate. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. Where we are, home of the bottom line. Or Shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. Sam Houston, women's basketball. The Bearcats taking care of business this afternoon on the road in Conway at the Ferris Center, defeating the Sugar Bears 67-60. to Good victory tonight for the Bearcats as they were entering tonight. We're on a two-game skid in the Southland. The Sugar Bears losing their only game that they played at McNeese, so now 0-2 are the Sugar Bears. Bearcats now 1-2. By the way, 
Central Arkansas leading this all-time series coming into this game 15 to 8. So this was a, a big pickup here for Sam Houston. They won the last two meetings, though, uh, going back to last year. We'll look at final stats here for this ball game again, 67 to 60, the final, leading all scores for Sam Houston. Faith Cook had 23 points, shooting six of 13 from the field, four of nine from downtown. She was feeling hot, and she continued. Her domination from the free throw line where she remains perfect this season. She was seven of seven tonight. Two rebounds, two assists. She stole it four times, blocked one, and turned it over five times. Again, 23 points in 37 minutes. Amber Leggett also in double digits, also with 20 points. She was seven of 16 from the field, one of four from three-point land, five of eight from the free throw line, hauled in 10, pa 10 rebounds, so a double-double tonight for Amber Leggett. She had three assists, four steals, picking up 2,000 a game, turned it over eight times, and 40 points for her. As far as Central Arkansas, there was three players in double digits. Walker had 16, Lasker had 13. Talk about that young lady, Lasker. A lot of speed behind her. Uh, she's going to continue to get better as this season goes on as a senior. And then Longy as well had 10 points. Final numbers in this ball game. The Sugar Bears shot 24 of 57. Not a bad night shooting, 42% from the field. They were 0 of 6, though, from three-point land, 12 of 17 from the free throw strike, putting them at 70%. They rebounded. Well, both teams rebounded 37, hauled them in. 15 on the offensive side for the Sugar Bears, 22 defensive rebounds. The Sugar Bears, eight assists. They turned it over, though, 29 times. And the Bearcats able to capitalize on that with 21 points off of those turnovers. The Sugar Bears, though, down in the paint, they've got uh, those athletes down there that can dominate. They outscored Sam Houston 34 to 18 in the paint. Final shooting stats for Sam Houston tonight, 20 of 52 from the field, 38%. They were six of 18 from downtown and 21 of 37 from the free throw line. That's an area they're gonna have to work on and improve as this season continues and as conference play continues. Again, the Bearcats go one and two in the Southland as Central Arkansas falls to 0 and two. Your final 67 to 60. We'll sign off for a little bit and a little bit later on here, uh, probably within the next, I would say, uh, 25 minutes or so, we'll be back on the air with Sam Houston men's basketball where they look to go 3-0. Friends, on this one, though, as I end every broadcast, I want to remind you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there needs you. For now, good afternoon, and God bless from the Ferris Center in Conway, Arkansas. We'll be back, back on in about 20. Hi, folks. This is Mattress Jack at Adams Furniture. Listen, you've been looking for sofas and love seats. Furniture in the stores today are hard to find. We are waiting on furniture, but listen, we've got trucks in and the stuff on my floor, it's in stock, ready for immediate delivery. You come in, you see it, you buy it, you get it to your house, it's that simple. We're getting inventory in the store. We've gotten several trucks in, so there's no more waiting on your sofas, your tables, your mattresses, your bedroom suits. Come in and see us folks it's right now going on hey don't forget about our beds in there we have great economy beds 